Well, my friends, I'm Blitz. Welcome back to the wonderful world of Planet Crafter. The update happened. We have insects and fish are on the way. I'm super excited about that because there's all sorts of new things we get to craft. Like an incubator. Use this to create new insects with larva and mutagen. Oh, yeah, that sounds great. We're going to evolve insects. There's also other crazy things like a beehive and butterfly farms. But before we do fun things like that, we have a slight problem. Our power supply is low. So let's do something else first and create a brand new jetpack. Oh, yeah, tier three jetpack. Here we go. That should be nice. I can fly better. We'll put that back over here. There's also the water filter that I totally forgot to build before. So I'll quickly slap it together, build it up, and then I'll throw that in here somehow. There we go. Now I can just drink from water. So in order to build up these nuclear fusion generators, we need to make some pulsar quartzes. And thankfully, I prepared enough resources that I could build five of them. And then we'll grab four super alloys and run outside through our beautiful forest. Wow, that forest is so thick right now. I don't know if I like that. Maybe I should plant all these things in a different location. Where are my nuclear fusion generators? I always hate it when you lose your nuclear fusion generators somewhere. There they are. Maybe I should move these things. Nah, they'll be fine where they live. And we'll put another one down. Now we should have unlimited power to genetically modify insects. Don't worry about these heaters either. We're just causing massive scale of global warming. Okay, so an incubator. Use this to create new insect larvae with me and mutagen. Oh, we get to make mutagen? And I'm guessing we have to have like the butterfly farm as well. So let's just start with this one. Tree bark, super alloy, oxygen. We'll grab tree bark. We'll snag a super alloy. And then I don't even know where this thing goes. Is it an inside thing? It is an inside thing. We need, we need to make a new area. Where should I put this? Maybe I should remove this entire section. I'm sorry, door. I don't need you anymore. Can I just steal that door? I just want to steal that door. Deconstruct dome. I just want to deconstruct the door. Nope. Oh, my inventory is full. I can't deconstruct it. Maybe this inventory is the full one. And deconstruct. And deconstruct. And deconstruct. Why can't you deconstruct? There it goes. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. Actually, I did. I don't really care, though. So I'll put a new door right about here. Do I want a door there? I don't. Remove the door. I'm sorry. You know what? On second thought, we'll just build a big giant living room compartment. Iron, titanium, super alloy. Thankfully, we have tons and tons of iron and a whole buttload of titanium. And I magically have super alloy already. So let's just build this thing right about here. That's gorgeous. I love it already. I just need a door there. Oh, don't worry. There's just a giant crack in the floor. Don't worry about the air pressure at all. Let's see how this place looks. Ooh, that looks very nice. Oh, wow. There's a whole butterfly dome. Why did I not see that before in my life? What is that one? The biodome. We have we have one of those already. So let's build an incubator. No idea what this thing does, but it needs to go about right here because I think it looks cool. That it's off-centered. Why do you have to be off-centered like that? Can I do it this way? Oh, no. Wait. Oh, is that better? That's better. Okay, that's not off-centered. Now, what does this do? I want to show the DNA recipes. Oh! Butterfly azurely, bee larva, butterfly penga, a chevon. I dr drive a Chevy, if you're wondering. Uh, Wow, okay. So I need a lot of mutagen and fertilizer for this thing. I feel like I probably should build up the uh, butterfly dome too. That's not very expensive. Actually, it is really expensive, but I'm saying it's not because I have a lot of end game items except zeolite because uh, i'm pretty sure i used all my zeolite making up the other things i just made so let's use my rememberer did i make a zeolite oh i did oh yes the zeolite cave is here and i have some of it hot dang i'm so smart i didn't realize there was water in this cave though it's a little bit weird i just want to throw everything away that i don't need just kind of get rid of it and then i'll clear out the rest of that and i'll bring it back up through my teleporter Whee! Okay, so I should be able to build a butterfly dome. Well, the game's like, no, I'm sorry. You can't build something outside from the inside. So if I were a butterfly, where would I want to live? Right here? Oh, that's actually a nice spot. Does that connect both of them? <gasps> it do connect both of them. Oh, that's fantastic. I can run all the way through the butterfly zone into my new workshop. Look how smart I am. Oh, that looks so cool. I love this place already. Oh, uh, look at the beautiful rain inside of our butterfly dome. I love it. I love this so much. I just want to go stick my, whoa, that was lightning. What is going on here? This is like a rain shower that I've never seen. Oh, there's a bug. Did you see that? 
There's a bug right there. Oh my word. I'm just geeking out that I terraformed this planet. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of want some windows in this place just so I can see outside better. Oh, I don't have any more iron. Thankfully, I can just run through my butterfly zone and then grab a bunch of iron for my iron deposits. And I'm probably gonna grab some cobalt too if I can find it. There we go. I feel like if I'm making a bug bug laboratory, I need to have windows in my bug laboratory. Probably a door to get out to. That'd be a good plan. We'll put a door in right here. Yes, that's beautiful. And oh, I want to put that on the ceiling, but I can't because it's too expensive. Maybe some lights would be good in here too. It's kind of dark when it's dark out. And you put some lamps in the trees too so the bugs know where to live. Here we go. This place is looking good. Okay, so we need to find if I have any mutagen. We have two mutagen. We need to create some more of them. And I believe those are created by bacteria, methane, and sulfur, which we should have. Yep. And I think I should be able to craft a few more now. Maybe three? Nice. So I've got five mutagens to create insects and stuff. I don't even know what these are for. Common larva. How do we make the common? Oh, that one's a silkworm. That's cool. So I'll be real truthful right now. I don't know how to get the larvae. So we're just going to make a butterfly farm because that sounds fun. And I might have used up all my tier two fertilizer. Okay, so realistically, does the butterfly farm go inside or out? That's probably an outside thing. Okay, we'll try to put it over here by the trees. That seems like a good spot for butterflies to go. Oh, that looks so cool. Can I click on it? Oh, there's like straight up butterflies that go in there. Maybe we should try to make a beehive too, but I don't know how to get the larva. Oh, oh, what did I find? Oh, it's a rare larva. I don't like it. Oh, I collected it. I have a rare larva in my pants now. Are they just on the ground? What is that? Is that another? Oh, I don't like this. There's bugs everywhere now. Ish, I don't like. I immediately regret my decision of terraforming this planet. I didn't realize they were just gonna spawn on the ground like creepy little nasty creatures. But I guess I have my pants full of like bot flies now, which is terrifying. Oh, creepy crawly bugs, where are you? That's sulfur. Why is sulfur just hanging out here? Why is there so much? Oh, cause my base just got hit by a meteorite. That makes sense. Wonder if there can be a asteroid with larva on it. Isn't that how like earth was supposed to be formed? Like bacteria from an asteroid? Whoa, bug. I actually haven't done it yet. I can just drink. Ow! <laughs> That's weird. I just have so many larvas now. But these bugs keep up popping like everywhere. It's so gross. How many do I have now? Ish. Can I put a bug in this thing? Can I just like put, no, we have to put a butterfly in there. What is in here? Okay, no butterflies in that. So I'm guessing we just have to mutate things. Okay, I mean, it'll just start. Should we just start? Maybe we should start with a bee. Can we start with a bee? Where's the bees? Oh, there's the bee larva. We'll start with a bee. We'll just put an uncommon, a mutagen, and a fertilizer in. And then we'll research that. Start that sequence. Oh, that's going to take a while. So we'll build another one. I don't know, right in the middle? How about right over here? That's beautiful. Now I can research something else. Okay, if I do a bee, can I do butterfly too? What's the best butterfly? Whoa, the rare one. I want that. So we'll put the rare one in. And then we'll put the mutagen and the fertilizer in. Nice. Start that sequence too. There's also silkworms. A little bit strange. I don't know how we're going to do that. Oh, but it's ready. Wait, I got a silkworm out of it. Oh, okay. So the silkworm is the same as like that one. I wanted a bee, but I wanted bees. Do we get a big fan? Ah, butterflies. We got butterflies. Oh, butterfly. Chevone. That's the Chevy one. And if I put that in here, does it hatch into butterflies? Whoa! We have butterflies. I'm so excited. It reminds me of that one one scene from Stray where the butterfly lands on the kitty cat's ear. Whoa, okay. New blueprint received, a tree seed. We can make tree seeds now? This sounds illegal. I need to go outside and find more bugs. And then I can put the butterflies in here and then the butterflies go outside. Oh boy. Give me more bugs, give me more bugs. Crawling through the forest, looking for bugs at night and all I see is blue shiny rocks. Give me that instead. It's kind of creepy. Looking for insects in a forest at night. Hello, yes, any larva around here? I feel like an ocelot's gonna jump out and bite me in the ankles. But we haven't evolved those yet. Whoa, one just spawned at my feet. Thank you. <laughs> just walked over and was like, Gloop. oh, there's another one. Nice. Maybe they spawn at morning time. Oh, wow. They're all over out here in the forest. There's another one. Another common. I love this. I want to be an entomologist when I grow up. It's a big word for me. I know. I'm sorry. Oh, we got a bee larva. Ha, ha, dang, we got a bee larva. What did we get out of this one? Nothing, because I forgot to put something else into it. Let's make another mutagen, and then I shall make another some critter of some sort. I also don't have any more fertilizer. Ah, poop nuggets. I'm gonna have to make some more. Oh, glorious fertilizer, be fertilized. Oh boy, 
New blueprint, high quality food. Wow, everything's red inside. Can I make that in here? Honey and beans. That doesn't sound high quality. That sounds terrible. I can't think of a single recipe that I know of that has honey and beans as the ingredients. Oh, there's bees flying around again. Give me that. I need more bee larva. What's in here? Oh, another silkworm. Okay, that's kind of cool. I made up a new storage area for them. So what happens if I take that butterfly larva out of there and put it outside into this thing? Do we get butterflies? Oh, we get outside butterflies. That's adorable. These are the fancy one. Can I collect them? Look how cool they are. We got green butterflies. I love it. I just want to eat it up. Just kidding. <laughs> I don't want to eat a butterfly. It's mean. They're going extinct and stuff. Oh, a rare one. This is like a cursed Easter egg hunt. The only thing I'm looking for is insect larva. Oh, look at that one. I got one. And another one. And another one. And another one. So I'm gonna create a few more mutagens so we can make a few more larva types. And we'll start with the rare one because I kind of like more of these big butterflies. But we might be able to get a different color. So let's try it. Butterfly fertilizer larva. And start that sequencing. Let's grab another one from my mysterious closet of secrets. There's the bee larva, common larva. Let's try an uncommon. And we'll flop that in here. Boop, boop, boop. Research and start that sequence. It's kind of like Pokemon. You never know what you're gonna catch except if pokemon was mysterious okay i kind of want to place down a few more of these butterfly things so we'll plant one here and we'll plant one here that looks good and then fingers crossed that we get more butterfly types Ooh, another bee larva i want to put the green one in here so we can have green ones inside and outside it's almost like the matrix in there oh yeah growth has 74 percent 78 percent neo's gonna pop out of there and he's gonna just, like take the red pill or something Actually, this isn't a bad idea, the recycling machine too. So if I get too many silkworms, I could just recycle them and turn them back into larva, which is weird. It should work though. Also kind of wondering if I can decode a blueprint. Ooh, a fence. <laughs> what do I want a fence for? To keep the bugs out? It's not right. There might be more blueprints then, but I don't remember having any more microchips. So that happened. Oh, we got more butterflies. These ones are cool. I want them. Butterfly fancy. What are you? Oh, another silkworm. Gross. What happens if I put the fancy in here? Oh, that's cool. I need like a blue or a red to go against the green. We'll put the reds out or the orange one outside. Yes, more butterflies. I need more larvas. Where's more larvas? I need the I need the rare ones. So my eggplant farm is mostly gone. I've used up all of them making fertilizer and more mutagens. But we got another cool butterfly. Look at this one. It's pink. It's a leany. And then this is probably another silk. I didn't put anything in there. Okay, so we need, we have like two more that we can do. And I'm guessing I'm just gonna go with the commons because that's all I have right now. So we'll put in you and you and you. Just research that up and boop. And we'll do the same thing over here. We'll do a do and a do and a do. And then go pop. I kind of like the, oh shoot. Forgot to press the start sequencing button. But I kind of like putting the pink in here with the green. So let's do that. Ah, oh, that's so cool looking. I love it. The colors are amazing. And I think I am going to big brain this. I'm going to put in that uh, recycling machine, even though it's really expensive. We'll put that in over here. And then if my big brain is correct, we could throw these silkworms inside of it and melt them down. Oh boy. Button. Aha! Aha! <laughs> yes! That actually worked. I don't know how we can genetically deconstruct something, but I, at least I get my larva back and the mutagen because they're really expensive. And shabloop. that is crazy. I love it. I feel like that's probably not gonna stay in the game for very long, but I got more butterflies and that makes me happy. A fancy. Oh, what are these? The azure. Oh, the blue ones. Hey, that means I can grab three more commons or four more and I can make four more insects. Yes. Doink, doink, doink. Research, sequence. Doink, doink, doink. Research sequence and then we'll slap in another one in here the blue one the blue one we got the blue ones oh, oh they're so big oh another one hey i need you for scientific purposes this is so cool i love it and another uncommon oh boy i could do this for years and another one but i tell you what my friends that is going to do it for today's video of planet crafter if you enjoyed it you gotta let me know down below in the comments i think next time we're gonna play with some bees and make beehives and junk but this 
looks incredible. So thanks for watching. Keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. And I'd like to thank all of the patrons and channel members who have supported the channel last month, including Auto Dave, Ben, Dicky, Teddy Hippius, Zarnoff, Maxer, Rail, BC Engineer, Whippet Good, Deegan, Eagle Art, Jason, Baron Fox, Spencer, Whiskey, Destructo Man, Flattersax, Joe, Doug Rules, Fury Arrow, Skunk Chest, Corey, and Lewis, Rob the Block, Red, Katie, Saiku, Dalton, Havora, Mr. M Gaming, Kyle, Sikander, Kirian, Grayson, Monkey, Bill, Zane, and Mark.